Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is Ruben. So last lecture, we learned about the variable and string. And we will learn variable, string, uh, string in details, everything in details we will learn coming uh, lecture. I right now I just give you like um, high level overview. And uh, as as my all my course, right? So it's everything will be 100% hands on and we are going to learn by doing the practical um, uh, uh, practical demo okay so so specifically this uh, tutorial you will learn how to print message to the screen or console how to store data in list so yeah as you see on the right side you know so this is the symbol or um, you can say uh, this is the symbol for the list right so whatever uh, data you want to insert it will be in the, um, now we can put it in the list and we, whatever data we need, we can retrieve from the list. And also we will learn about uh, dictionary. Okay, so let's uh, pull my uh, PyCharm first before I open PyCharm. So in, so this is the Postman and we are, we should already know how to use Postman to retrieve data uh, uh create that update data delete data right if you are not like i have um, uh, you should go back to my previous uh playlist which is um end-to-end -end software uh testing the manual testing so where we learn um this uh, like how we can use the postman to uh do the get post uh, uh delete update request right so as we know, we need three pieces of uh, information in order for us to uh, do the, uh, in, in, your, in order for us to retrieve the information. First, we need the URL. And the URL, as we know, it is the two piece information. It's this uh, from dot, dot .ml, this part is called base URL. And after that, whatever we have, we call in point on uh, URI, uh, Unified Resource Identifier. And also in the consumer key and consumer secret. So these three fields um, are mandatory in order for to send the request. So we already um, we already copy these three information uh, last video. Okay, so let me pull Pisa here. Uh, right on the side. Here, right? So the, the, this is the base URL. So as I said, .ml, so it will, this URL will be common for all the requests that we are going to send. We may send post, port, um, and also we may have a different uh, URI. URI stands for Unified Resource Identifier or, or endpoint. So we may have a customer endpoint, product endpoint, um, coupon, right? So you should put that in separate. And this is the customer key, customer secret, and uh, and uh, so this is the three piece of information we need to um, send the request so now as i said this is the request but we will learn more about it uh it's coming lecture right why we need request but right now just focus on the like since we are going to learn the list right so let's just focus on uh, on this part so we have dot we, we are using the get this is the get and this url is combination of base uri plus url uh, uri and the authentication we are using uh, customer key and customer secret so these two pieces of information we are using here so we have a similar we should have a similar uh, now if i send a request here we see empty list and right now and uh, if i run this one i should see the empty list so if i say run it's run successful, but I don't see the empty list here, right? So in Python, in order for to see anything on the screen or console, we need to use the print statement. And it is very simple. What I have to do is just print. And I have to put R. Since, uh, as you know, like this, you can consider as the reference or pointer. Right? So whatever we have here it will be stored in the r like like the variable that we have learned earlier right so now r dot what do you want like um, 
what kind uh, uh, in like how you want to print like we have a um, json url and uh, we should have a text right but this is you see this is the json right on my left this is the json so i'm going to select uh, r dot json and if i want to print some uh, right now i have this list so right now this list is empty list is nothing is there so it's um like if you say one of our test case like if there is a no um existing customer it should print list uh, empty list so this is the empty list now let's create um let's create on customer and uh, then we will validate like um uh, if this um, list store those uh, that that customer or not okay so let me go like right now i'm going to create a customer from postman but in the coming uh, video we will learn how we can create through uh, through python okay so let me go to create customer and beforehand i already uh, create i already provide some information right so let me just send so id number 67 has been created so now if i go to our customer send so 67 so that means uh, i just create on customer and it is a store in the list before it was empty now it's uh, a store in the list so now if i print again you see this is the list okay oh one more thing let me let me delete uh, 67 uh, let me delete i need to show you something 67 so now if i go get all customer it should be empty again and if i say run again it should be empty so now uh okay so now if i want to see like the type what type like if you are not sure okay i don't know what type what is this symbol means and what type of response we get uh like this response right uh we can print type type i mean data type i mean right what type um response you get so now we use the type function and it should be under uh, print so now if i click on print you see is the list so this is how i know like okay the whatever response we get it is the list okay so now let me delete this and uh so extra one here or okay should put one other okay so now let me create again gate all customer so now if i run again um so now you see it's stored in the data so now if i say type again it is still should be uh the list see so now if the type okay so now let's um, analyze uh, here so you see this is the list and we have some data here and this data is form of dictionary what is this symbol this is the dictionary symbol right all the data we get form of uh, dictionary and the dictionary start with the curly braces and i should uh, also um, end with the curly braces so we have only one customer so is um, so and this is this customer is inserted in the list and the list we may have we may have large many customers so all those customers right now since i have a customer one so that's why it's a uh, one arrow here right so if you have a uh, 10 customers it will be 10 arrow like this okay so now um so this is the dictionary and how 
the how the um, data written um, in a uh, dictionary the format is it has to be must be um, uh, in the um, in the um, double code or single code so this is you can say key and this is value and uh, right now you see on the value for the id it doesn't have a code uh, doesn't have a double code um, because it is the numeric number in numeric number um, we don't put any uh, we don't put any um, uh, quotation. If you put any quotation like this, so it will become a string, right? So we learned earlier lecture that whatever you put inside the quotation, single code or uh, double code, it will become a string. So how we write, okay, how the uh, how we write the data for dictionary? Dictionary we must put, provide the the key, and the key should be in a string format with a double code colon and the value like like here data um, data created right so this is the form of uh, a string which is key colon and we have to provide the string value again the date here but this is generated by a uh, system right and this is the data that we provide a uh, form of dictionary so that is high level of overview of list and dictionary and also uh, let's uh, if I want to, if I want to uh, fetch this value 68 through the Python, what do you have to do? So this is the list, and as you see, and the list always start from zero. So this is the list zero. In the list, we have a dictionary, right? In that, in the, in order for to fetch that data in the dictionary, you have to put exact like the, the, if I want to insert the list, we have to provide this ID number then we can face this um, or retrieve this uh, id so let me do it from the python so our response dot json then i would say list zero you since as I, as we learn that list always start from zero right so we have only one list here so we have to prove the let zero and this is the dictionary and i like as like right now the value is right here so that's why we, we can just copy this id or just here id so as soon as we click, um, send request from here or you know run this program it will it will be stored everything uh, it will um, it will looking for this id information in the dictionary and list number zero okay so now if i run you see 68 and on the string right right now i don't know what is this uh, 68 mean right if you want to write any text uh, what we want to print something before that, we can print here. We can say, okay, let me print something. This is the customer ID, something like this. Okay. So now, uh, so we have to close this one. And in order for us to um, combine, we can just put the comma here. Okay, something is not right. Print, this is a statement. Oh, wait a minute, it should be R here. Okay, I can say reformat the file. So now if I run again, see, this is the customer ID 68. So that's how you can combine uh, with the string with the, with the with the value, okay? All right, so this uh, lecture, I'm going to stop here. Um, so I'll see you next time.